everyone, welcome back to my channel. So in today's video, I have a review and swatches for you guys of the Urban Decay Naked Cherry Palette. This did actually just become available this past weekend and I was able to go ahead and snag it up. Um, it, and it actually arrived a lot sooner than what I thought it was gonna be. So I'm super, super excited about that. And I cannot wait to share my thoughts with you guys. But before we get started, if you are not already subscribed, please go ahead and hit that big red button down below. You can also follow me on Instagram, Snapchat, and Twitter, and I will have those all linked down below for you. Um, so this is our lovely packaging right here. As you can see, it's got the cherries all along here, and it has a brief description on the back that I'm gonna read for you guys. It says, Naked Cherry is ripe for the picking with 12 all new sweet and tart cherry hued shades, including shimmering pinks, warm peaches and deep burgundies. From bang bang, a soft micro sparkle pink, to ambitious, a deep metallic copper, and drunk dial, this forbidden fruit has everything you need to create ethereal daytime looks to wildly seductive smoky eyes. With cherry fresh vibes, it feels like we're getting naked again for the very first time. Is that a play on Madonna? Like a virgin, I'm just saying. <laughs> that's what it sounds like to me so along with the box this is your palette I really really like it you guys I love the cherries all along here kind of has a packaging like the naked heat where it kind of pops up right in here so I really enjoy that the packaging is definitely really really sturdy so I do appreciate that um, so you open it up you do get the mirror just like you do in the other palettes and then these are your 12 shades you also do get a dual in brush all right guys so I'm gonna go ahead and do swatches first and then we'll get into thoughts your shades right here I do want to start off by seeing um, when I first saw this online my vision was more of like deep burgundies reds I don't know just like rich cherry colors um, I do think the colors are a little misleading it's definitely more mauvey peach um, when you look at the swatches here, these are definitely, I mean, even my eye look, it's not what I envisioned. I, it looks a lot more pink <laughs> on my eyes. Um, I still like this look. I think it's very, very pretty, but I do want to keep that in mind. All right. Now going in to the shades, um, there is a lot of kick up in this palette. Um, that's not a deal breaker for me. I can be a deal breaker for you and that is fine. But if it's not, then just be aware that it is going to be a lot of fallout. So you definitely want to do your eyes first. Um, I think everything felt really, really nice to the touch. The only ones that were a little bit dry was um, Devilish and Privacy. So that would be this one here and then the one on the end. Those were a little bit dry, um, but they still worked really, really well. Everything else felt super, super creamy. Um, I do think 
the colors, this of course not being exactly what I thought it was gonna be, are still absolutely gorgeous. However, I do have to say, there's nothing really unique, okay? If you have a Morphe palette, like the 350 or even the 35F palette, you have these shades. So you probably don't need this palette. Now, if Urban Decay is your jam, you love their eyeshadows, and this is definitely your color selection, then you're gonna love this palette. Um, but as far as needing it goes, I don't think that you need this in your life. These are supposed to be all new shades, and I did notice, looking at the Naked Heat and the Naked Cherry palette, there is at least one shade that looks extremely similar. So the ones that look actually kind of similar is going to be Scorched here and Ambitious right here, and I'm going to do a side-by-side -side swatch for you guys. Okay, so this is Scorched from the Naked Heat, and this is Ambitious right here from the Naked Cherry palette. I don't know about you, but that looks like the same exact shade to me. Does it not? They look like the same exact shade. Um, I don't know if it's picking up that way on, on camera, but definitely in person, <laughs> definitely in person it is. So um, let's go ahead and test a couple more. Let's see. All right, so here's two more. This one is Caution from the Cherry Palette, and this one is Chaser from the Naked Heat. Okay, I don't know if you can tell where they're at, they do look a tad different, but they're definitely similar. Oh, I don't know if you can tell or not. Because it's so light. Let me try to see if I could do it on this side of my arm where it's lighter. All right, so they are similar, but they are definitely different. Um, this one is a little bit more peachy tone than the other one. All right, so that is it as far as comparisons go. Um, the only one that looked the exact same was of course Ambitious and the other one from the Naked Heat palette. Everything else is definitely completely different. I do have a pretty decent eyeshadow collection, so I do have already almost all of these shades in my collection. However, like I said, I did expect a little bit more of like deep burgundies in here and it ended up being a little bit more peaks, pinks and peaches. All right, so let's wrap it up with some final thoughts. So the packaging, I love the packaging so much. I do like the design on here. I love that this palette is very, very sturdy. The dual into brushes that they come with, I actually quite enjoy these brushes. I enjoy them more so than the ones from Anastasia Beverly Hills. And I do like the brush in this palette. It is very pretty. It's kind of got this clear part right here. Um, and it says Naked Cherry. Um, the brushes are really, really soft. The other one I had gotten from the Naked Heat, actually I have it right here. Yeah. Um, so this is definitely different than the one I had gotten previously. This definitely has a flat shader part on the brush, um, a little bit more of a pointed blending brush. Um, this is more of a fluffy brush with a pencil top on the other end. So I like the fact that they did change it up uh, in this collection. The shadows themselves are absolutely beautiful. They performed really well on the eyes. I had no patchiness whatsoever. Um, they were so easy to blend, so easy to blend. So I do appreciate that. And like I said, this, the shade selection it's not what I thought it was, which is kind of a disappointment. But if you put that aside, I do think the shade selection is very pretty in this palette. This palette does retail for $49. I did get it off of the Urban Decay website. They do have more to this collection. They have a um, highlight and blush palette for $34, a cherry scented spray, 
Um, they do have lipsticks and I believe eyeliners. However, I did not feel the need to get any of the other items. Um, I was really only focused on the eyeshadow palette itself. So this is definitely going to be a little bit more of a personal per preference. Um, like I said, if you love Urban Decay, if you love their shadows, um, if you love the shade selection in this, and you want to get it, I definitely say go for it. I do like the palette. I do enjoy how the shadows work. Um, it's just not something that I believe that you need, especially if you have a bigger collection. All right, guys, so that is it for this review. I hope you did find it a little bit helpful. If you did, please give it a big old thumbs up for me, and I'll see you guys on my next video. Bye.